is day two of the She Says, She Led, She Is conference. And um, I'm here parking right now. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to vlog and show you guys um, what we have going on today. So see you soon. Hi guys, uh, so it's day two of uh, She Says, She Is, She Led. And I'm standing here next to Giovanna, yes. who is a marketer. marketer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone. Tell them a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so Shivana Robert Schreiber. I have a marketing firm called SNR Creative. We're a strategic marketing firm, so we take you from idea to strategy to implementation, which is our competitive advantage. Awesome. So, what do you think about today's event? Well, I'm super excited. The first thing I noticed when I walked in was one, this building is uniquely designed so you get all this natural light, and everyone looks so pretty. <laughs> so, I'm thinking, well, if everybody's looking this good, we must be in store for a great event. So, I'm just excited to see what's going to happen. This is my first time. Well, thank you. Because about 30 people said, Latasha, will you be my business coach? Will you be my mentor? And I would love to do it, but I just didn't have the bandwidth to do that. So I said, you know what? Why don't I just host the dinner for about 10 ladies? and invite them, we can talk, I can share, they can share, we'll hold each other accountable. Mm -hmm. And then I started talking to a couple friends and they said, I think it's bigger than that. And I said, my budget isn't bigger than that. <laughs> so last year, we, we set out to invite 60 ladies to come in for a beautiful dinner. How many of you were there last year? Wave your hand. No, you can clap too. What a beautiful, it was awesome. I'll, we'll share some pictures, it's on the website. Um, and so it ended up going from 60 to over 120 ladies. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to pull that together in two weeks and we were able to garner over $30,000 of products, goods, and services to be a blessing to you. Wow. And so we were so successful last year that we decided to do it again. And so that's why we're here today. We're here as a celebration of you. And I want to just love on my speakers for a moment. These amazing ladies just said, Latasha, if you're asking me to do it, I don't even care what it is. I'm in. Isn't that a blessing? Yeah. We increased from 21 to 32. Wow. Uh -huh. Why is that? That's only 6.4% of the CEOs that are on the Fortune 500 list. We need to change that. And in order to do that, we have to walk in our purpose and disrupt the market doing so. Like, because for some of us, we're solopreneurs. We are at that point where maybe we want to start adding to our team. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you made the decision to expand your team and some key things about adding to um, your workforce? Because it's our baby mm -hmm. and everybody's not going to love our baby like we do. Right. So talk to us a little bit about what that process was like and any one or two tips that you would give them when you're trying to expand your team and grow, not necessarily just locally, but even outside of the market. Something that really worked for us is training and educating them on your vision. Make sure that you have a vision, that you understand the culture of your companies, and that you make sure that you bring that to the team that you're building. Because a lot of the time where I see issues is they don't understand your vision. They don't understand what you're trying to accomplish. You know, with us, service is everything. And you have to make sure that they understand that. And even at times when they feel like, oh, I don't feel like dealing with that client. Well, you do because they're a client, so you need to regroup. And Welcome back to my channel. So we are at, uh, coming to an end for the She Said, She Led, She Is conference. And I'm sitting here with the fabulous, oh, look at this makeup, guys. <laughs> the fabulous makeup guru, Elena Salisbury. Yes, yes thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> So uh, I was so inspired by her talk today, but what do you want to tell my, my people, my subscribers out there? Um, just be fearless in everything that you do. Make sure that you brand yourself, focus on your brand, and ignore the noise as far as negative energy and people telling you your vision is uh, worthless. So just, you know, just go ahead and disrupt the market just be confident doing something. She was so awesome, guys. She brought tears to almost everyone's eyes. But yes, follow her, <laughs> Color Du Jour. It's her makeup company, and she is fabulous. I mean, look at this face. Oh, oh my gosh. You. As you guys say, she's beat to the gods. <laughs> she is 
fabulous. No, this is not a true beat. This is a natural beat. Oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> See, you know I'm new with this makeup thing, you know, but it's a natural beat. But she told me she liked my makeup, so I feel yes, so good because you guys know red. that I am I new to use my red eyeshadows. <laughs> See, I'm inspired. I'm inspired. So thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, clients and spending so much time on clients that are not spending with me, I have to I have to cut the cord. People will lean on us nonstop. They will, t they will suck our time. They suck it. Free knowledge, right? Like, hey, I don't understand this marketing thing. Tell me what, tell me what you can do for me. So we explain it all. Um, so that's one thing. And then I also reevaluate my calendar. I make it a point to where I sit and I prospect on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. and on Fridays, I actually have really great luck prospecting at 10 a.m. as well because people Monday's never a good idea. Um, but I just make myself sit down and I make myself do it. And Elizabeth does a great job of holding me accountable. Okay, so how do we get to that next step? Uh, that's something that, you know, Latasha mentioned this, but we struggle with that as women. And sometimes I don't want to be overly aggressive, but then I do. Um, but so what's your greatest <laughs> advice for closing the deal? So, so we have, there's something called contracting. So if you, if you are going into a presentation or a business meeting understanding their needs, for sure you've done that. You have presented something back to them that was within their budget that meets those needs. So it's an assumptive close of, okay, so here are your needs. Here's everything we're going to do. As you're walking through that presentation, do you agree that this meets this need? Do you agree that this meets? So the whole way through, you're getting them to acknowledge that, yes, you're meeting their needs. So by the end of it, you, in summary, this is everything that we're going to do to meet your needs. Here's the next steps. Here's the t And we've seen this is so simple, but putting a calendar, okay, on, by October 31st, I need a contract. By November 5th, in our instance, I need your logo. I need images. On this date, we're going to produce your commercial, and you get them to sign off on it. So Because by putting a calendar, it makes them very tangible. They understand where you're taking it. We're going to go past the schedule, and we're going to get it done on time and within the budget. So I think risk, and I want to relate it to developing business. So I hope we don't have any pastors in the room. <laughs> but I want you to yell out what you see on this screen right now to the top of your to Pay very close attention to those things that didn't go well, because those are learning opportunities for you. That's lessons learned. But you got to be careful where you spit them. Because if you spit them in the wrong place, then you waste something that could have been fruitful later. Y'all miss that. No, 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 no. If you spit it out too soon without putting it on fertile ground, it won't grow for you anymore. It's gone, it's trash. But it's to do something that was totally disruptive and to just do something nobody else ever thought they could do. She led her team to victory. She led her team to achieve numbers that were bountiful. She's strong, she's powerful, she's amazing, she's Chelsea. She's Crystal. She is Landy. She is Alina. She is Lashonda. She is Fern. She is Kashel. She is Chandra. She is Sheena. She is me. She is you. We have to get out. We have to win, ladies. We have to, we have to, we have to. Now, before I announce our winners, I want to do something. I'm going to go off script for you miss game changer of the year oh whoa. okay I'm so shocked okay this is really a testament that anything can happen for you you can do anything because when I look at these ladies like LaShonda there are people that I follow on social media and Kim and I'm inspired by them I am in awe of their work and how they lead and how they do business. So for me to be right here and them to be right there, it doesn't make me better, but it is a testament to a belief in yourself, faith in yourself can do for you. And I feel very empowered to be the owner of Total Woman, which creates safe space for 
women to heal. I help to facilitate that healing. We offer a customized 90 day program for our clients um, to help them identify their belief systems, decide what they really want in life, and then we aggressively go after it, but in love. Um, so that is my company, that is what we do. We are changing lives all over the world, one woman at a time, one heart at a time, one forgiveness at a time, one surrender at a time, one yes at a time, one no at a time, sometimes. So I am just, I'm shocked but I'm grateful. Thank you so much. So welcome back to my channel. I am standing here with Ms. Zondra Grant. I attended her seminar for marketing, right? Yes. Yes, and we are still here at the She Says She Is, She Led, I know I didn't say that right, <laughs> uh, conference. And I wanted to talk to Zondra a little bit. Uh, tell me, what did you think about today? Today was absolutely empowering. Um, I had the opportunity to meet so many wonderful and powerful women that are working their business and that are actively pursuing networking opportunities with other business women as well. And so tell people who you are and what you do. Yes, I am Zondra Grant. I am the author of the number one bestseller, Better Than Okay. It is a story about my journey through divorce and in a way, told in a way that I am able to help people from standing on my story instead of in my story. Um, it shares my story and it's not pretty, it's, not, it's real is what it is um, because there are people going through divorce every day and they feel hopeless, they need hope, they need support, they need encouragement and that's what my book does. I am a consultant, I am a divorce recovery um, coach and I also, um, also help people uh, who are entrepreneurs with their marketing efforts as well. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming to my channel and sharing with my subscribers who you are and what you do. It's great to meet you as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, so we're still here at the She Says, She Says, She Is conference, and I'm standing here with... LaMonica Love, the attorney, and uh, I'm from the Love Law Group and Consulting Services, PLLC. So what did you think about this weekend events and today? Uh, I thought that the conference was amazing. I think that it's exactly what women business owners need if you are on the road to starting your business, if you're in kind of the... the you're going through your business or your business is doing great and you want to highlight and kind of keep going on that road this was the conference for you yes it uh it was uh it was very amazing it was the pep rally that we needed but it was also tangible information actionable steps that you can take <laughs> And so uh, I just had a wonderful time. And you, uh, you did a uh, workshop. How was that? Yes, I did a workshop today. Today I actually talked about five things that you need to do to reduce your uh, business's chance of being sued. Ooh. So it was a, a very good <laughs> workshop. And, um, you know, oftentimes when we think about legal things, we think about um, breaking the law. But those yeah. aren't the type of things that get you sued. Right. You know, the things that get you sued are uh, lack of communication, um, bad contracts, and, you know, those types of things. So I was so honored to be able to share that with uh, the business owners that were here today. Great, great. Well, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Thanks for having me. <laughs>